Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this red quadrant as you can see in this figure. And moreover, this line segment AC is three and this line segment BD is six and this point P is a point of tangency. And now we are going to calculate the area of this red quarter of a circle. And one more thing, let me make it clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution. And here's the very first step. Let's assume that the radius of this quarter of a circle is lowercase r. That means this radius is r and this is r as well. And now we are going to find the value of r in order to calculate the area of this red shaded region. And by the way, this angle F is 90 degrees because we are dealing with the quarter of a circle. And now in this next step, we are going to construct a rectangle ABGE as you can see in this figure. And now let's go ahead and connect these point F and P. Let's go ahead and connect this one very carefully as you can see over here. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that this FP, this line segment, this is nothing more than just the radius R. So thus this FP equal to radius R. And now let's observe that this line segment FP and this tangent AB, they are perpendicular to each other according to tangent to a circle theorem. And here is tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. And now in this next step, let's focus on this rectangle APF. E, as you can see over here. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same length and are parallel. So that means this side FP is same as this length EA. So that means that EA equals to FP and since FP is radius R, so that means this EA is going to be radius R. That means this length EA is going to be radius R. And likewise, let's focus on rectangle PBGF as you can see over here. So then this length, this GB is going to be equal to this length FP. And since this FP is just the radius R, so that means this GB is going to become radius R as well. So this side is GB is R as well. So now let's focus on this rectangle PBGF, this rectangle once again. And we know that this whole length GB is radius R. And we know that this length DB or BD is six. So that means this length G D is going to be simply R minus six. And likewise, let's focus on this another rectangle APFE as you can see over here. And we know that this whole EA is radius R. And we know that this length AC is three then this distance E C is going to be simply R minus three. So thus E C equal to R minus three and G D is R minus six. 
And this next step, let's focus on this triangle C E F, this triangle. Let me go ahead and call this angle alpha. This angle is alpha. We know this angle E is 90 degrees. And this is our angle beta I'm going to call. Then we can see that angle alpha and beta are complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this angle. This whole angle is 180 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees and this is our angle beta. So that means this angle on this side is going to be the complement of beta which is alpha. So that means this angle has got to be alpha. And now let's focus on our next triangle DGF, this triangle, and we know this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees, so this angle has got to be the complement of alpha, which is beta. All right? So thus we conclude that this triangle CEF and this triangle DGF are similar triangles according to angle, 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 theorem. And here's our angle, angle, angle theorem. If in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then the triangles are said to be similar. So therefore, the opposite side of this angle beta is r minus 3. So that means the opposite side of this side is going to be r minus 3 as well. And likewise, on this one, as you can see, the opposite side of alpha is r minus 6. So that means the opposite side over here is going to be r minus 6. And now in this next step, let's focus on this triangle DGF, this triangle. And since this is a right triangle, therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case, in this triangle, the longest leg is fd. I'm going to call this leg c and this horizontal leg fg, I'm going to call a and this vertical side, I'm going to call b. And here's our Pythagorean formula, a square plus b square equal to c square, where a is r minus 3, b is r minus 6, and c is just the radius r. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to give us r minus 3 square plus r minus 6 square equal to r square. Now let's go ahead and take care of these binomials. We're going to expand these two binomials by using this formula a minus b square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So that means this is going to become r square minus 6r plus 9 plus likewise r square minus 12r plus 36 equal to r square and as you can see this r square and this r square they are gone on both sides let's simplify by combining the like terms we are going to get r square minus 18 r plus 45 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is a quadratic equation, so we are going to solve by using the factoring technique. So let's go ahead and take care of the factors. So the possible factor is going to be r minus 3 times r minus 15, which is equal to 0. As you can see, the sum negative 3 and negative 15 is going to give us negative 18. And if we multiply negative 3 times negative 15, it's going to give us positive 45. And now let's go ahead and split them. We're going to separate them. I'm going to write down 
r minus 3 equal to 0 and on this side r minus 15 equal to 0 that means one of the solution is going to be r equal to 3 and the other solution is r equal to 15 now let's go ahead and pick r equal to 3 first and as we can if we plug it in over here r minus 6 over here since r is 3 3 minus 6 is going to give us negative 3 and this negative 3 that means the distance cannot be negative so that means this r equal to 3 value is rejected so therefore we are going to accept this r equal to positive 15 as our only solution so thus our radius r turns out to be equal to positive 15 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this red shaded region now let's recall the area of a circle formula which is a equal to pi r square since we are dealing with the quarter of a circle so that means the area is going to be the one fourth of this one that means we are going to divide by four so that is going to become pi r square divided by four and we know that the radius is positive 15 let's go ahead and fill in the blank so area is going to be pi times 15 square divided by 4 so that means a turns out to be 15 square is 225 pi divided by 4 and we know that the pi value is 3.14 if we plug it in over here so our area is going to be approximately equal to 176.625 so the area turns out to be a equal to 225 pi over 4 or approximately equal to 176.63 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye